Hey, what's up guys, Mike Redfox. In this video, I'm gonna talk about botting GPUs with the bot Stellar. All right, let's get right into it. So I made this video, the state of buying GPUs and how to get them back in end of April, so a little over a month ago. By the way, check this video out if you haven't already. All of the ways that I talk about still apply today. But one of them was to use bots. And that was a world I just started diving into as I really got to understand that I just could not compete as a person at my computer or on my phone, you know, running after a ping when something came in stock. I just could not compete because bots completely owned pretty much always you could get a graphics card. And so I started going down the rabbit hole and the one that I really came up uh, being interested in was Stellar. And right after I posted this video, the Stellar team reached out to me. And I'll give you full transparency here. They provided me a free copy of Stellar, which I am extremely humbled by uh, in the hopes that it would help me get some graphics cards personally. And then also that I could do a review on it and provide any insight I have to all of you who are watching this. So though they gave me a free copy, this is all my own opinion. And um, you know, I'm gonna share the things that I didn't think about when I got it, you know, what I think it does really well, um, the work that you're gonna have to put in because it's not just a set it and forget it app. I don't think really any of them are. And ultimately how you could get it because as you can see right here on their website, it's sold out. You cannot just go to the website and buy it. So I'll talk around that at the end when I give my, my, you know, ultimate, should you buy this? So let's dive like right into this. I'm just going to pull up in my Stellar and I'm going to walk you through high level, how it works and really how any bot works. And what that, what it is, is it's monitoring constantly for an item to come in stock. And then once that item does come in stock, it attempts to add it to the cart and check it out. That's it. At its simplest form, that's what, what it does. Obviously, there's bots competing with bots. There's bots competing with retailers who are, you know, closing gaps in, in exploits that were there. So there's just a constant amount of change that's happening and different ways that you can set up your bot in order to compete and work for you. So I'm not going to dive into all the detail. This is definitely not a how-to video because it would it would be outdated in a week with how fast these things move. But I'm just gonna give you a real high level overview and walk you through a little bit of the application so you can see what you're in for if this is something that you personally want to invest in. And we're gonna start, you can see, with Amazon here. Now what you're looking at are my tests, which tests are the checkout process. Now in order for any of these tests that you see to start, the item needs to be in stock. And I guess we'll back up a second and start with the monitor. Now, as I said, all these bots are just monitoring constantly, is an item in stock or not? And you can see that here. And in this example, I have a SKU that I'm monitoring. This is a 3060, this is a EVGA 3060. In fact, you'll probably, if you get into this, just start memorizing the SKUs and what product it is. And you can see here, I'm monitoring that SKU and it's just pinging Amazon frequently and it's showing that it's out of stock. The other way that Stellar monitors, which is fantastic, is it uses its own server to monitor SKUs. And you can see those right here. So you can see that, what is that, that PVH, it is also monitoring that. And in fact, if you pull up the Command prompt when you run Stellar, you can see its server in action and these will show you items that are coming in stock and their SKU. And these are really just test items that will come up here. But if an item pings, the server will, will see it, it will post it here, and then it will force some automations to start to try to check out that item back in your Stellar application. So to sum that up, you can monitor it yourself or you can let Stellar do all the monitoring for you on their Stellar server, which in my opinion is the recommended way to go. Okay, still using Amazon as our example here, and we'll pull up, I don't know, let's just pull up a 3080 that I'm running. By the way, I've had Stellar up for about 
two days in its current instance. So anything that you see is about two days worth of, uh, of it running because everything resets after you run it, after you close it and reopen it as far as um, if you had items in your cart or not. So, all right, back to the 3080s. So you can see right here, this first one, that SKU is waiting for monitor alert. That item in the last two days that I've had this app open has not come in stock, so it has not progressed to try to add that item to the cart. Let's go down to the next one, this one ending in 4Z. That has a different status. Waiting for monitor update, adding to cart. What that means is that item has come in stock since I've had Stellar open. It's recognized it's come in stock. The monitor has told this task that I'm running to start the checkout process, but it went out of stock before I could get it to the cart. So it stopped there and you're still trying to add it to the cart. And that's where it'll pick up if that item comes in stock again. Now let's scroll down a little further. You can see this other one ending in 4Z. That has progressed to placing order. So it's made it to the next step. And then one after that is order placed. And that's what happens. It monitors, once it comes in stock, it tries to add it to the cart. Once it gets it in the cart, it attempts to check it out. And once it checks it out, you're done, it's ordered, it's on its way to you from Amazon. Unless they try to cancel your order or flag your account, and that's a whole nother story. And that in its simplest form is how Stellar and AnyBot works. One more time, monitor, add to cart, checkout item, order placed. It's a lot more complex than that once you get down in the weeds of it. And I'll just pull up uh, one of these as an example. So you can, you need proxies, first of all, because you don't wanna be pinging any website all the time from your local IP because the website will see that traffic as bad and they'll block you. So you need proxies, which if you're not familiar, is a way for you to route your traffic through another IP address. And why you need them is if one gets banned, you can rotate in another one and Stellar will do that for you. You have to set delays for how often it pings. You can set fingerprints for your browsers, um, user agents even, checkout attempts, card attempts, on and on and on and on. And these are the things that you really start to get into, especially delays, be like, what could this be? Um, and you really, you monitor success over time and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and see what other people are having success with in the community as well. That's Amazon. That's one of the retailers that uh, Stellar has. Best Buy is the other big one. And again, we're just talking GPUs here. Now, let me say this before we go on to Best Buy. One of the things that I thought about getting a bot was that I just hit start and I walk away and it will do all the work for me and that will be a huge weight off my mind and I'll get an email if it ordered something and I'll jump up and down and bots are amazing. That's pretty much true for Amazon, but for Best Buy, the other big retailer that you can get GPUs on, uh, both in the US and Canada, that's not true. This is a little more hands-on. It's still way better than trying to do it yourself but essentially what happens here, if we go over to Best Buy, pick this one. Again, same concept, you got your item, you got your product number, but you don't wanna run these tests all the time for a couple of reasons. I mean, one being Best Buy drops on a pretty uh, obvious schedule, and there'll usually be some pings that go out beforehand that you know Best Buy will be dropping. But for two, if you're pinging that website all the time, it's gonna block you and you're gonna burn through all those proxies that you paid for. So you have to pay for those, one of the overheads that I didn't realize going into botting. So for this, this is a little more hands-on for two reasons. One, you gotta be there to hit start when the item drops. So boom, you gotta hit start, you gotta remote in, you gotta be at your computer. And then once, 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 once uh, Stellar gets the item in your cart, you have to manually check that out. It will open a browser window for you as one of the options. You'll log into your account and you'll check out that item. You gotta be there. I didn't realize that. And so this has been really tough for me because I work 40 hour full-time schedule. I can't be at my computer when Best, Buy, when Best Buy drops. I'll say this, if you're gonna have success with Stellar, you're gonna have success with Best Buy if you can be there. I've watched two Best Buy drops kind of from afar and I know if I was there at my computer, there's no doubt I would've gotten multiple GPUs. Amazon's a little different. Amazon I've been running for a while. I have not had success 
actually right now, this is in the last 24 hours, I'm feeling really good. This is a lot of carbs for me that I have. And again, I'm not an expert on Stellar. Like I, I have two Amazon accounts running. You can run 40 Amazon accounts. You can run multiple tasks per SKU per account. I'm just not there yet, but I'm feeling really good at least getting these items to the cart. But yeah, Amazon, you let run. That's why you really want to be there. But you, Stellar has a long history of a really good success using Best Buy. Uh, AMD is another one that uh, Stellar can do really well on, but you do have to be there to manually solve some captures on it, at, at least currently. Again, you don't leave this running all the time because you know AMD drops on Thursdays like the same time every week, so you can just start it then and not burn through the proxies that you need to use. GameStop's another one that I, that you can run when you know a drop is coming. So really, Amazon is the one I leave running all the time. I think that's true for, for most people. And then the other retailers are ones that I will hit start on once I know a drop is coming or I got a ping that a drop has started and I'll start running those tests. So on one end, you, you know, a lot of times you got to be there. There's some hands-on you got to do with Stellar to get pinging to those retailers to start those tests so you get a chance to get those graphics cards. On the other side, this is a huge cat and mouse game where the retailers are, you know, don't want these bots and scalpers pinging them all the time or any web traffic pinging them all the time. And Stellar's competing against other bots that are out there and everybody's looking for a way to find an endpoint to exploit, to take advantage of so that they can check out items. And so that means there's updates all the time. So if you go over in the Stellar Discord here, and we'll go over to uh, change log. I mean, you can see, what is this? Every one, two days, every day, every two, three days, there's fixes or improvements made to make it you know, uh, more efficient or to find another way around something that the retailer's blocked. So you gotta be on top of that too. You gotta be updating your Stellar and most updates bring a new little checkbox or item in here that you have to be to, to learn and then know how to utilize to be ready for the next drop. So it's there's some work. There's not only the learning curve, but there's the ongoing work that you gotta put in to keep updated and understand what the new features are and how you can take advantage of them. So that was something I didn't know in the beginning either. So really to wrap that up, things I wasn't aware of that you should be is one, the overhead. You gotta uh, buy proxies which you're looking at paying monthly or every three months for those. You also really want to look into CAPTCHAs, which I will eventually get to over here. Oh, here they are. You want to get to CAPTCHAs so that for GameStop, for example, uh, you have a service that is automatically solving the CAPTCHAs for you so you can have a better chance of checking that item out. It's an additional overhead. And then time, time's a big one. I thought I was gonna be getting back time. I was so wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've gotten back quite a bit of time, but it's just really moved into keeping the app up to date and learning the new features and then really uh, taking a look at how I'm doing and if there's any tweaks I wanna make to give me a better chance to get a GPU, especially with, especially with Amazon, there's just a lot of tweaking there. Okay, so um, let's move on to how do you even get Stellar? <laughs> and that is, again, it's sold out, so you can't get it directly from them. So you have to get it from somebody who's willing to sell their key to you. And the way you do that is through marketplaces, and they exist over on Discord. And there's two of them that I'm aware of that are the two big ones that I heard of when I was going to buy Stellar. And one of them is Botmart. And you can see I'm already all the way down here. These are all bots, by the way. I'm already down here in the Stellar Cell channel. What you see is people who are willing to sell their key to Stellar. And the thing you gotta know with Stellar too is you pay for the key and then you also pay monthly. So what you see here, Stellar's going rate as I'm making this video is, I will say around $500 and then you pay either $20 a month or $30 a month depending on the key that you get. So there's, there's different versions over time. So in either Botmart or Titles, the other one, essentially the way it works is you wanna use a middleman who will hold your funds and the key, make sure everything is good, and then do the final exchange between the two parties. These are used a ton. There's a ton of information on there. If you wanna get Stellar or any bot, 
you read and you learn and you don't get scammed. Don't get scammed. So you can get Stellar through here. There's also a rental on Title's website. And just for example, right now, you could pay $120 and get Stellar for 30 days, which you know maybe that gives you two Best Buy drops. If you can be at your computer and ready to go, you probably just made back that money really, really, really quick. Stellar also has a fantastic brand new uh, user guide. And this is, uh, I guess one of my cons in the beginning was, man, this stuff is so hard to learn about. So the user guide was really outdated because of how fast Stellar gets updated. Any YouTube videos were outdated in a week. So really what you had to do was just sit in their Discord and either like look through the chat or you join a cook group. I'm not gonna go into that in this video and you you pay for that and they also help you um, learn Stellar you know, as a community. And that's just a lot of reading and a lot of trying things. And there's people you know, in Stellar that don't know what they're doing and there's others who do, but maybe aren't willing to share because they're having success with it. So that was really hard. So I'm really glad that they came out with this user guide. They also do, uh, well, hold on, before I get into that, let me give you an example. So you go down to retailers, you can pick Amazon and it will walk you through you know, all the fine tuning. And look at this, this is fantastic. Great job on their part, honestly. Um, they also do at least a couple times a week uh, Twitch. They go live on Twitch and they'll either talk about you know an Amazon module uh, for one live or Best Buy for another one. And usually, you know, it leads up to potentially some changes that came um, or you know a drop that could be happening on Best Buy or something. So, you know, I kind of wrap that up. The support around it, you know, the incentive is there because they want to make money. They want to be a place that you know people want to buy Stellar and pay for Stellar. So the incentive is definitely there. So, but from the live streams to the new user guide to the discords um, and to all the constant updates coming from their developers, like they're really supporting their application, absolutely supporting it. So, I mean, that gets me to my recommendation. Would I recommend that you buy Stellar? If you are serious about getting GPUs for mining, I would absolutely buy Stellar. If you are looking to get one GPU for your gaming PC, do not buy Stellar. Just don't do it. If you're looking to get multiple, multiple, as many as you can status of graphics cards, this is the way to go. This is the way you can compete. This is probably the only way you can compete versus going and standing in line outside a micro center or now a Best Buy to get a graphics card. Know that it takes a lot of learning uh, it takes, in some cases, you have to be at your computer in order to run some tasks to get a chance, but know that the support and ongoing updates for it are just really, 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 really great. So yeah, honestly, this is something I would have bought had I not been uh, reached out to and provided a free copy from the Stellar team. I think it's fantastic. I would recommend it to anybody who's looking to get multiple GPUs. This is a very high level overview. If you have more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, you can join my Discord too. It's in the description uh, as well. If you get Stellar, have some questions, have some questions before you get it. You know, I've been in the rabbit hole for about a month. I'm not an expert, but I'm happy to share anything that I learned with you to get you started. Which is all being part of this community. And I think that's it for this video. Um, Again, really high level overview. There's a lot more that goes into this than I went over today, but that's my review. Definitely recommend it. Um, that's it, guys. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.